Hello, my name is Ardi, and today we are going to solve practice problem 4.1 from Hayde circuit books. For the circuit in the figure 4.3, determine the nodal voltages V1 and V2. Okay, V1 is and V2 is here. And then we are given this node here as our ground, and meaning that this node has a voltage of zero so now we need to assume the direction of the current so let's assume the direction of its branch and i want to assume this branch to be going down this also going down and then this is going to the right and this is going down and this is going up because the current source is going so what we need to do is doing KCL at not V1 and not V2. Okay, maybe let's do it here. KCL at not V1. Okay, what does KCL say? KCL say that the sum of the current that goes in is equal to the current that goes out. Okay, let's see in the node V1. So we don't have any current that goes in, so we can just put zero in the left hand side. And all the current here will coming out of the node. So for this branch, I will have five from five ampere. And then plus here, the current that pass through this two ohm and three ohm resistor can be calculated using the difference between this node and this node right so i will have v1 minus zero and the resistance between them the resistance between them is just two plus three because they are in series so i have two plus three and then this current here is also going out so i will have plus v1 minus v2 divided by 15 yeah Okay, let's simplify this equation. So I will have zero, and here I will have five plus V1 over five plus V1 minus V2 divided by 15. Okay, now we can multiply both sides by 15. Yeah, because multiplying both sides does not change the value of the equation. So I will have zero here and then 75 and then I will have 3 V1 and then plus this 15 will cancel out. So I will have V1 minus V2 and we can simplify this. I will have 4 V1 minus V2 is equal to minus 75. Okay, we cannot do anything more at this point. So let's just save the equation as equation number one. Okay, so now let's move on to node V2. Right? We are doing the same thing, but for node V2. KCL at node V2. So what can we do at node V2? We apply KCL again, which says that the sum of the currents that goes in is equal to the current that goes out. There are two currents that goes into V2, this one and this one. And this one is V1 minus V2 divided by 15, right? And then this one here will be 2 ampere. So I'll have 2. And the current that goes out here, I will have V2 divided by 4. So I will have V2 minus 0, sorry, V2 minus 0 here, divided by 4. Let's not just skip any step from here. Okay, now to remove the denominator, we can multiply both sides, I think, by 60, right? Okay, if we multiply it by 60, this 15 and 60 will cancel out and produce 4, right? So I'll have 4. Uh, let's use blue. 
so I will have 4 T1 minus 4 T2 plus 120 and that will equal to this will cancel into 15 so I'll have 15 V2 right okay let's manipulate this a bit so I will have what 4 V1 minus 19 V2 and that equal to minus 120 okay let's solve let's save this as equation number two so now we have two equation with two variables and we should be able to solve this right okay so we have equation number one here and equation number two let's just subtract that so okay let's subtract that so you'll have for v1 minus v2 is equal to minus 75 and then for v1 minus 19 v2 will be minus 120 okay let's subtract that why subtract that because 4 v1 minus 4 v1 will canceling out each other and then i will have this one will be 19 minus 1 18 v2 right 18 v2 and this one it will be 120 minus 75 that will be 45 right 45 so i will have v2 will be 45 divided by 18 and we can divide both numerator and denominator by 9 so i will have v2 is equal to 5 over 2 and the unit is 4 right okay is it correct yeah according to the answer it's correct right and then what's next what's next is we need to find out v1 how yeah we can just substitute v2 into one of this equation i think substituting to equation number one is much easier so let's do that so i will have 4 v1 minus v2 is equal to minus 75 but that means that for v1 is v2 minus 75 and now let's just plug in this v2 into this equation so i have for v1 is equal to 5 over 2 minus 75 okay so what can we get from here is just make this 75 into something over 2 right and that something will be 150 right 150 over 2 and that means that i will have for v1 is equal to minus 145 divided by 2 so i can divide both sides by 4 so i will have v1 will equal to minus 145 divided by 8 and the unit will be 4 okay and that's all we need to do to solve this problem hopefully i did not make any mistakes yeah i don't think i made any mistakes because the answer is correct right okay and that's all. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.